Let's go to Amo State now, where the governor, Hupu Zodima, has picked a female running mate for the November governorship election. Speaking at the ceremony, Mr. Zodima dispelled rumors of infighting with his deputy governor, Professor Placid Njoku. A correspondent, Prince Uba, has more on this. Here at Landmark Events Center in Owere are members of the Imo State All Progressives Congress and other stakeholders. Our deputy governor. Mrs. Chinyan Ekomaru, who was until her nomination, a lecturer at Avan Ikoku Federal University of Education, where the governor who dismissed rumor of friction with his deputy said ecumenical consideration and gender inclusiveness were factors for the new choice. The stakeholders are aware of why this particular decision was taken. Because the process of choosing her was all inclusive. I plead with all of us to accept and make peace with it. Let me use this opportunity to make it clear that I don't have any problem with my deputy governor for surplusing the job. He is a very loyal and committed partner in progress. My confidence in him has not waned in any way. I want to assure you that he is still very relevant in our political family. His political career is not by any means over. The truth is that as a representative of the people, we need to be sensitive to the economic and nature of the environment. The Deputy Governor, Professor Placid Njoku, took a bow and missed on ovation. Now the new female deputy governorship candidate pledged total loyalty to the governor. I thank you for the inner part of my being, for bringing me on board. You have brought on board my over 40 years exposure to politics and people of human rights. Every assignment given to me, I shall carry, carry out with the fear of God and respect. This event, no doubt, a row series of political events for the APC ahead of the November governorship ball. Prince, uh, TVC News, where The Lagos State Governorship Election Tribunal has adjourned to deliver its judgment on the date to be communicated to parties in the petitions filed by the governorship candidates of the Labour Party, Badebo Roots Viva and PDP, Olajide Adediro. The Justice Arum Ashram-led panel said this after listening to the final addresses of councils in both petitions. And TVC's Kemi Fola Adeyemo reports. Badebo Road Survivor is challenging the victory of Governor Sonwo Lu in the March 18 polls. LP's candidate who emerged second in that election is also challenging the eligibility of Deputy Governor Obafemi Hamzat to contest on grounds that he allegedly renounced his Nigerian citizenship and swore allegiance to the United States. While the PDP candidate who emerged third accused Governor Sonwulu of allegedly presenting a forged YX certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission, he also accused the Deputy Governor of not including his oath of declaration in his INEC nomination form and that the APC didn't comply with the Electoral Act when nominating both men. Both petitioners were absent on Saturday, but Mr. Hamzat was present throughout. Counsel to INEC Charles Edosomwan, SAN, in his final address, asked the tribunal to dismiss Mr. Rootsviver's petition, saying there was no proof to show the election wasn't conducted in substantial compliance with the Act. Counsel to the governor and his deputy, Wale Olanikweku, SAN, told the tribunal that the petitioner had abandoned his petition in his final address as there was no reference to Mr. Sonwolu, but instead it dwelt on Mr. Hamzat. The aspect of convening on Mr. Governor was resolved by the petitioner themselves, not even by us, by the witnesses they called. But the rest is for the tribunal to decide. It will be dangerous for us if Nigerians who are you know, remitting money from all over the world to Nigeria, you know, sustaining our economy in terms of forex inflow, are made to believe that because they have other nationality, their right as Nigerian citizens by birth is you know, as a disadvantage.
In Jandor's petition, INEX Council Abiodun Olatun GSEN said the petitioner has failed to establish the case of non qualifications of Mr. Sonwulu and Amzat. The APC and its candidate also said the petition relates to pre election matters which have no place before the tribunal. It's a considered view that the petition we presented for this tribunal was not, def was not defended. And our allegations of falsehood against GC certificate tendered, you know, submitted by the correspondent in the case also was not refuted. So we expect on the, on the whole that the tribunal will give a favorable judgment that will meet the justice of this case. We are sure that we are firm on firmer terror that the decision will be favorable to our candidates. And we are so sure that um, our clients will eventually be returned as the governor of the great state of Lagos State, the center of excellence. Kemi Foladeyemo, TVC News, Lagos.